Well, good morning. Let me make sure we're working here. And we have the cam functioning. All right, guys. So uh, here's the deal. This weekend, I went and I got a... Um, oh, crap. No, I can't get it off my window. Come on. I got a, uh, a dash cam pro. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? As seen on TV. One of them little dash cam pro things that sticks to your window and it's got the little fold down screen. Man, is that thing a piece of crap? Don't buy one. It was 38 bucks. I figured, you know, I'm going to try it at Walmart. I'm going to try it as a backup to see, you know, how things go. And maybe I would just use that for my, my indoor vlogging in my car and use my Sony action cam for my outdoor action cam, <laughs> you know? Um, Oh my God, is that thing a nightmare? It's crap, pure crap. But anyways, it is Tuesday, March 29th, and uh, my week begins. Week two of the 2016 lawn care season starts today um, instead of yesterday, because yesterday my wife was sick, 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 laying in bed, seizures, couldn't move, so, uh, husband slash daddy had husband slash daddy duties and had to take care of all that noise. So uh, it was laundry day, cleaning day, dishes day. Um, we put up a video yesterday about uh, pressure washer, uh, about bleach. Um, you know, the different mix ratios that I use. So we got to do that yesterday. Um, let me see, what else? Uh, had a dinosaur attack peeps. Um, on video, and, but then I decided not to use it, not to do it. it seemed a little bit maybe too violent <laughs> for a kid's channel. My kids were all into it, but my kids are my kids. So, you know, maybe they breathe a little bit too much two-cycle mix. Um, but I thought, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. Uh, it's just a little bit too violent. <laughs> so, uh, I don't want to traumatize any kids on, uh, on the toy channel there. So, I was like, no, 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 no. Maybe we'll do a, a dinosaur Easter egg hunt or something sometime this week but uh i was like no never mind so uh welcome aboard all you new people coming over i have a feeling that you're all geek to freak defectors looking for a new channel and a lot of you found me so welcome aboard i appreciate you guys coming on and uh checking us out there are some definite differences um between me and the geek or maybe i should call him the freak because now he is a freak and not a geek uh, i still call him a geek um but I do it in an adoring way, not in an insulting way. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, was he not the pioneer? I mean, seriously, he was the pioneer. He got us all started. He really did. Uh, you go back and you look at people's uh, lawn, lawn care channels, and not too many of them are going to date back more than uh, probably about anywhere from 12 to 18 months from today. They're really not going to date back that far and you know you had to freak out there he was putting up videos about his divorce videos about his braces videos about trying to gain weight and and you know lifting some plates and you know videos about lawn mowing and i mean just he was the pioneer and we all kind of took a cue from him and uh started branching out doing our own thing and it's sad to see him go uh in the sense that he is gone uh, but it's awesome to know he's still out there and, uh, you know, he's still watching us. He's still watching our channels and stuff like that. You know, he is, he's checking us out. And, um, so that's cool. That's real cool. So welcome aboard all you geek to freak defectors, um, looking for lawn care stuff. Uh, this channel is going to, you know, is a lot about, um, what I do and why I do it. it it's. It's not, I mean, I'll do like some how-to videos, but it's how I do it. So I might title it how to, how to edge with a weed eater, which is coming up this week. Um, you know, and it's going to be how I edge with a weed eater. And if you guys catch on, you know, through time, you'll see that I weed eat really fast, really good. I'm really fast and good at weed eating. That's my forte. I'm, I edge really good with the edge, you know, with the weed eater, but I don't really like to edge with the weed eater. I like to edge with the edger, the stick blade. Um, I just think it, it just does a little bit of a better job. It's a little bit faster and it takes a little bit of time off of my weed eater. Um, so I can go, you know, longer times with, with my weed eater. I don't have to, you know, the edger's used a little bit. The weed eater's used a little bit. The edger does its job. The weed eater does its job. 
So I kind of, I kind of just, that's how I just roll. Uh, and my customers like this, the, the blade. Um, I like the blade. And if the blade misses something, then I always have the weed eater at the end to clean it up a little bit. And that's something that you'll also notice with me is I like to mow first. I'll mow, I'll edge, and then I come back and I clean up with the weed eater. So any stragglers that the mower might have missed, um, you know, I don't, I don't like to weed eat first because then I tend to weed eat too much. I'm weed eating, I'm weed eating for the mower, not knowing, you know, I know if the mower can get in there, but you know, you got a 42 inch deck, use that darn deck. Even if that means you got to kind of make a turn and then come back out and go, use it. You got 42 inches. Why stand there with a weed eater doing it? And I tend to do that with the weed eater if I do it before I mow. Now, there are times I do weed eat before I mow, usually new lawns, usually tall, thick, nasty yards. I'll weed eat that stuff down so I can clean it up with the mower. And I want to find obstacles. I want to find objects along the house. I want to find the little grounding rods that are hammered into the ground, but they're never hammered below three inches up. So, you know, you'll hit them. Um, your deck will hit it. Hopefully your deck will hit it and not your blade. But uh, yeah, there's, you know, things like that that I, I gotta find. But usually once I know a yard, I mow it first and then I go back and I weed eat it. And if it's something really tall, I'll just blend it with the weed eater. You know, I'll, I'll mulch it up with the weed eater. Not that big of a deal. Um, so that's, that's usually my technique. It's nothing, I, you know, I don't, I don't like judge other people or fault people uh, for how they do things where other people will um, and say, you know, hey, you're doing it wrong, you're doing this wrong, you should do this. Man, everybody has their own way and every, you know, everybody has their own style. So whatever works for you, whatever makes it so you can get the money um, and get it done and, and, you know, in a timely manner, great. But I won't be afraid to say, hey, if you try it this way, you might be a little bit more efficient. And I'll just put it out there and show you guys what I do, how I do it, why I do it. And, you know, and that's up for you guys to decide if, if you want to try to implement it into your own business. And that's what this channel is all about. So I don't ever want anybody to think that I'm telling you that you have to do it this way. That you have to take the shield off the weed eater. That you have to, um, you know, do a, a certain mowing pattern. You know, I don't do stripes. A lot of people do stripes. I don't do stripes. I couldn't give a crap about stripes. Uh, honestly, I really don't. I think stripes look good on a baseball field. I think stripes look good on a football field where it shows the different increments, you know, the different five yard increments or whatever the hell they do. Um, I think that looks good. I don't necessarily, I mean, I enjoy looking at it on other people's channels. It's kind of like, oh, it's kind of cool. But then, you know, then you start gotta stripe the other way because you start, you know, you might rut the grass if you're always going the same way. Um, and then all of a sudden you got like this checkerboard look going on. And I don't like that either. I just, you know, that's not my thing either. Um, and then you gotta be straight. And it's just not something, I mean, I enjoy looking at it and I give props to the guys that do it because that's not easy to do. It takes time to do that. And, you know, people put special equipment on their on their mowers to roll the grass down and all that and you know I give I give a lot of credit to those guys that are doing that but it's not my thing I just I just want to cut the yard I just want the tire marks straight that's all I care about is the tire marks are straight it doesn't look like we're all over the place with the mower you know I mostly cut in squares and then I might do what would appear to be stripes but you know like I'm going back and forth but that's only if the discharge chute is keeping up with the clippings and it's chopping it up good. Um, if not, I'll just cut the center out and then I'll go and flip it in and flip it in and then I mulch it out, you know. I don't give a crap about stripes. I just want it to look like a carpet. Nice cut, nice edge, nice weedy. Everything just looks nice. That's all. That's it. I never fault anybody for wanting their, their stripes, uh, but I just, you know, I just don't do stripes. So that's like, that's a difference right there. That, that's a good example the difference between me and a lot of other people um, and people will ask me how well does it stripe you know, I don't know you ever see stripes on my yards now if I pull stripes out of my butt by accident and a yard stripes I'll note it I'll say hey look at them stripes huh you know just whatever but it's it's not something I try to do um, never has been and as far as I'm concerned really really never will be uh, I just don't want to get into that um, so, and it really takes kind of nice, it takes a nice yard to stripe. 
and most of the yards around here are centipede and weed. Uh, people just don't want to pay the money to have the constant upkeep that's needed for this centipede grass to uh, stay weed free. Uh, very few customers will. I mean, I have very few customers that that actually have a weed treatment company come 40 bucks every two months. <laughs> that's better than what I would charge. I, I would be, you know what I mean? I'd be charging at least that amount uh, and not really making any money on it. So I, uh, I, I don't really push the whole weed and feed thing. I do it if a customer asks me to do it because I don't want them looking somewhere else. But you know, there's True Green and stuff like that in the area. And Weed Man, True Green, let them do it. That's their job. That's what they do. You know what I mean? I don't want them mowing my customer's grass and I don't want to be putting chemicals on, on their customer's grass. I want to mow what they produce, their chemicals, their green stuff. I want to mow it. That's it. So, ooh, county's going crazy. Ooh, there's two counties going crazy. Two county mounties. So we're going to pull up here, get some gas. It's a little late, man. It's already past 8, um, 8, 8, 10, but I'm going to get some marine gas for the week. And then um, we got, you know, today, this week is kind of a light week. We're going to work today until I'm done work. Um, until I'm tired, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Somewhere around eight to twelve yards, I guess. All depends on how they how we get through them. Tomorrow is gonna be another around ten to twelve yards um, for Wednesday, and that should get us pretty close to being like all caught up. And then um, Thursday, we'll have to see what goes on for Thursday and Friday. But I got a house wash and concrete wash that needs to get done. Hopefully this week with about twenty bales of pine straw. So that, that's a job that needs to get done this week, um, hopefully. He said just get it get it done when you can. And we're picking up some new clients too. Uh, I gotta give an estimate today, but not, I just gotta, I already told him how much it is based on the neighborhood and, and what he told me. So I'm gonna go and do uh, a little drive-by. I'll be working in that area anyways. So we're gonna get that looked at and, and uh, get that price finalized and we're gonna start him next week. Um, so. The business is growing. We're dropping $30 lawns. I dropped more $30 lawns this week, um, and I'm replacing them with $40 lawns in the same neighborhood. So, you know, the goal is to increase my my daily average by increasing my lawn average. So, 10 yards at $38 a yard on average is more money than 10 yards at $34 a yard on average, right? 340, 380, both 10 yards, both in the same neighborhood. What would you rather do? So that's what I'm trying to do right now is increase my average, decrease my workload. And what that does is it keeps more money in your pocket. And, you know, so a little bit more money in your pocket, a little bit more money in revenue earned equals a lot more money for you and your business. And so that's what we're going to do. So follow along. Welcome aboard. Um, we'll go ahead and cut this short. I'm sitting at the back gas pump now. So let me go ahead and get me some marine gas, which is ethanol free and it's readily available so that's why I use it um, but other people use like Stabil and stuff like that for ethanol blockers I highly recommend no ethanol in your two cycle machines so we got three done <laughs> it's late but hey first time cuts man so there's one with the backyard two with the backyard and three with the backyard this one here I have to use the 20 inch in the backyard but all the rest I just use uh, I use my big mower so hey whatever man that's uh, three done that needed to get done all right next door to each other and my house is literally right there I mean I can look at my house so now we're gonna go do two more that are right by my house then one down the road then come back and hit one and then we uh, we go from there so uh, we'll have six done a little after lunchtime we'll have we'll have our first six done um, that's first time cut, first time cut, first time cut, first time cut, first time, first time, first time. So they're all first time cut. So yeah, I'm struggling. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So let's knock them out. And we do have the fourth one done. Again, this was another first time cut. So we're pretty squared away. But she does have a major change. And uh, I walked in the backyard and she was actually home today raking. Uh, but look at a nice new shiny fence. So you got this little piece going down, it goes about 30 feet down. 
And then on the other side, there's a, about a 10-foot piece. I was like, oh, it's a nice fence. How much did that cost you? About $1,400 for that. $1,400. Oof. Okay. I think I'm in the wrong business. So let's go on down the road. Let's do another one. Two-story one. And she stopped me today and asked me if I could... Um, take care of the pressure washing and stuff like that. I was like, sure thing, anything you need, sweetheart. And that's what I do. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one squared away here. And that will be this one. You guys remember this one? Yes, sir. Let's get it done. Okay, so our fifth lawn is done. And I weed and feeded it. I put down a weed and feed. So that's a little extra money. Um, like I said, pulling up to this yard, she's the type of person, she's just like, look, just do whatever needs to be done. So they have an add-on back here. So the backyard's pretty small, but as you can see, her son will take care of those. Uh, I blew them in a pile for him, but they rake. So that's part of his chores. So I like that. Um, yeah. Shut this. You see the house? So we're going to do a nice pressure wash on this house. Nice, nice cleaning. Get this one done. It'll be nice to do. And I uh, put the weed and feed down. So we're going to go ahead and dominate the neighbor. Both neighbors. Because uh, I like that. So I put it down pretty heavy to finish off a, a bag that I had off of another job. So that was all profit. So um, that's what, five yards done, but the income of six because of the profit on the weed and feed. So I will take that. Now we go right around the corner. You know, we haven't even put a mile on my truck yet since, um, since I got back into the neighborhood. I mean, I drove out and I got, um, I drove out and got gas. But once I got back into my neighborhood here, I haven't even put a mile on my truck. Um, and we got five yards mowed plus a sixth income with the weed and feed. So real fast, huh? Well, not fast, but you know, real close, I should say. Super efficient. So I'll go around here and see if this lady's still my customer. I haven't heard from her yet. So I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think she will be. I, I, I doubt she wouldn't be. I mean, she always waves at me. Uh, but man, there's so much competition in my neighborhood now. Uh, it's like everybody and their brother has a lawn service. So here's one right here, right across the street from her. So he's probably been pounding her hard trying to get that yard. Um, but nope, still mine. So I'll go ahead and knock this one out. So that'll make uh, six. Then we go around the corner to a new one at seven. And then we got eight, nine, ten to finish off this neighborhood. So let's uh, keep on rolling.
right, so right now we got issues. We threw the belt on my deck, going on an angle cut. Um, yeah, an angle. I was on an angle, and then there's a drop off, and I think I jammed up my belt. I jammed up my blade, which caused the belt to skip, jump off the pulley, because you know it's got the automatic tensioner, and the belt jumped off the tensioner pulley and got caught underneath it and then everything just shredded. So I called the place where I got my machine and they have a belt in stock. Uh, so my wife is running up there to go get the belt. But I, so I had to finish this backyard with the push mower. Uh, but now we're, now we're seriously uh, getting pressed here for time without that machine. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get, how far I'm going to be able, you know, how much I'm going to be able to get done. And I'm noticing that the homeowners association has gone around putting notes on people's doors. So, uh, my phone's blowing up. Let me get going here. It's going to get fun and busy real fast. So, I just cleaned off the lens, sorry. I got my belt, I got my mower sitting right in my garage so I can take about 30 minutes take the deck off take the belt off clean the rubber out from the shredded crap put the belt or the deck back together uh, and then finish this yard because I did the uh, backyard already because the small mower is the only mower that fits through that gate it's a lopped up gate um, and then mow the front yard with the big mower but I kind of feel like I would be shortchanging you guys some pretty good video. So let's take this TB360, this Troy built TB360. All right, you guys remember this bad boy. 190cc motor. TB360 rear wheel drive. I got the side chute on it. I just did the backyard. Let's go ahead and do this yard. Look at this crap. Can you see this? Look at this. <laughs> Let me show you guys what this mower can do, and you tell me if it's worth 369 bucks. Let's do it.
Guys, you cannot complain what you just saw out of that 21 inch mower. Come on. I just cut this nasty front yard about as fast as it as I could mow. Right? Come on. Come on. You can't do that with any other machine in this class. 
I'm sorry. I've had them. My Toro Recycler, eh, nope. My other Troy built, eh, nope. Too small of a motor. This one here, 190 cc, rear wheel drive, 21 inch, bad to the bone. And uh, the Toro Time Master, the 30 inch, I'd still be out there pulling clumps off of it. It would be clogging it up. This thing rocks. And that's why, guys, it's very important that you have a good push mower. Because when your big one goes down, you need a good one. You can't have no rinky-dink, weed eater brand, little three horsepower piece of shit from Walmart. Your day's done when your big mower breaks, right? So, I mean, I was able to continue on and get this done. And even though my belt was right there, it's not that big of a deal. And I'm probably just going to continue mowing, do a couple more yards, and then call it today. We'll see. So we got two more done. This is a brand new one that was uh, handed down to me by a friend who no longer services this area. And this was my customer from last year. And so this lawn was cut high um, for a very long time. And this lawn was not. Um, so I knocked on his door and he said, yep, go ahead, get me going. So I got him going. And so with that said, I cut her low. To match him so because I'm not gonna play height games with two lawns right beside each other she no longer lives here and she rents the house out so if she likes to cut up higher oh well um, she's not here to enjoy it so I'm cutting it where I can just efficiently mow now I had to use my little mower I don't have my big mower still so let's take a look at how it looks these were both first time cuts of the year and they were rough and they both got little backyards lots of leaves but there's areas to blow all the leaves into underneath all the trees like big old beds so um, so there you go that's two yards together that's nice when you can do that um, so whatever we end up uh, a little over 300 today we are calling it quits um, Kids got baseball practice, and I gotta get a belt on my mower, and we're gonna get this video up, and I gotta get dinner going for the kids. Um, so, uh, what do we do? Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we did nine, and every single one was a first time cut. Um, and one, two, three of them were done with the 21 inch of the nine, and a half of one was done. So three and a half of the nine were done with my 21 inch. So, did lose a little bit of time there. We got one, two, three in here that I'm leaving on the table that I would have liked to have gotten to. Three more, I mean, it's 4.30. Um, if I wasn't using the push mower, I would probably be done with the other three at probably five. Um, and have a over $400 day. But the problem is they're all first time cuts and that's what's taking me so long. Next time I do this route and I do these 9, 10, 11, 12 yards in just this area, I'll be done uh, probably around 2.30, 3 o'clock with a $400 day. So today it's a struggle. Tomorrow it's uh, it's not. And that's that's without the fertilizer. I also did that fertilizer job. Um, so I have to add that into my income too because that one was all profit because that was fertilizer. That was a bag that was left. Uh, that was stuff you know left over that has been accumulated. Um, so, um, and them yards look good. I just did them. So we're all right here. Those are the first yards of the day I just did. And all you, all you see is I just walked around a circle or drove around a circle. Those two were right there. One was right there. One was right down the, down the road. Two were right there and three we just passed. So, I mean, pretty outstanding the way things are lined up on this day. Um, so that's the deal. So that's what we got today. Uh, just a quick recap, big mower broke, um, I, the blade belt skipped off and got chewed up, so my wife ran out and got me a blade belt real fast, um, luckily the place had one in stock, had to finish my day three and a half yards with the 21 inch, we got some pretty good video of the 21 inch mowing, so hopefully that comes out good, and uh, 
We got nine yards done, one of them being brand new, all of them being first time cuts of the year. We got a fertilizer in. Um, not bad, I can't complain. I really can't complain. And I got an email message from a customer that owes me $200. Last week we talked about him. Um, I don't know what happened to him. He's a good guy, he's a good customer, he's good for it. Uh, I don't know what happened, but he emailed me saying, are you the guy who services my yard? I found you on the internet, I'm trying to contact you, and he left his, his phone number. Um, so that's good. Um, I forgot to mention that this morning. So that's a nice email to wake up to. Got that on my computer, so I like that. But let me go ahead, close this down. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, tomorrow is going to be uh, a push. We got Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We got quite a bit of work we need to get through. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get that done.